Go ahead. Yes, please. Yeah, please do. All right. What a theme round is right, Scott. Let's just cross our fingers. Whoo-wee. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Yes, yes, y'all. Handbones on Friday night, Eddie Kiever. Eddie, I don't know if you just played the 90s trivia, but to say that there was a fire drill is unbelievable. 1890s would be fun. We think we may have gotten to a little bit bottom. To, uh, we may have gotten to the bottom of it, but we don't know. We'll make an announcement to try to get ahead of it just in case on this. I don't expect it to happen tonight, but... Very well. Matt Ferris's first game, first one we've ever ever had a fire drill like that one, or at least it's his first game answering as the team answering as the team captain in the middle of the chaos. And when I say chaos, it was chaos. My puppy, week old, disappears, takes off. I'm running after it. Rachel's down the street. I'm pointing to what I think's the dog. Rachel says, "That's a cat." That's a cat. That's not the dog. And so then I have to get back in. And uh, and then the dog just shows up at our doorstep. So that's what happened. Every time I tell this story, Rachel wants everyone to know that it actually was a cat. Of course it was a cat. No, I said, no, I don't talk that like that. I want them to know that my Rachel, I'll... Rate, estimated start, start time start time tonight is eight thirty eight. Guys, we are uh, we are behind the gun. We we almost there was a second there where we didn't have the monster game tonight. That's how bad it was. We almost posted on social media. We're gonna cancel it. We almost posted on social media. We're gonna delay it till nine, and then we just said, "Let's go." I have not, and I need it, and I'm afraid to ask my wife for it. Estimated start time door is 8.38. Trisha, you are already registered just by the simple fact of being here. Now, if you'd like the answer sheets, they're in the description below. One member of your team should get the red answer sheet. Everyone else should get the green. We're going to have a nice, long talk about the answer sheets before we start this game. No, we we decided to go. I'm glad you did too, James. It's been chaos. Sorry. What's up, Trevor? T Don. No cans. Nope. They're paying. They're paying, Dor. They're paying. Yeah. Yeah, old links are good. Welcome back, Annie Miller. Guys, we're going to get going in five minutes. We're going to have a talk. We're going to have a nice long chat in about four minutes. What's up, Trisha? Can I just watch and comment? Of course you can. Kiever, you can do anything you want. You just brought, Olio just brought us the craziest trivia we've ever done. 
If that was our first virtual trivia, I don't know if we'd have we we'd we'd still be doing it. If that was our first one, we would. Kyle, Kyle, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but it, uh, listen, the Meehan boys are conspicuously absent right now, and we don't know. Nick, are you on the phone? Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. They're good. They're good. All right, guys. So we're going to get going here in four minutes tonight. We're taking our time. Nothing but time. Let's first just talk regular shop. The game's brought to you by Michelis. The game is brought to you by Industrial PC. Michelis does storm damage and repair. If you had any the other night, Michelis is your company. Industrial PC, if you or your corporation has huge, enormous industrial PC needs, they are your company. And one of you, one time, will have those needs. And you're going to remember, you know who can do it? The same company that brought us Hambones Trivia. Industrial PC and Michelis are proud partners we are proud partners of theirs. Hambones Trivia is happy to have them sponsor us. Also, if you want hoodies or tees from Heather Tees, the link's below. If you want to register for 50 states, 50, uh, 50 states, 50 questions, the link's below. We only want big deals. Yep. You only get, I mean, I know, I know. Industrial PC is, I mean, to call them the Hambones Trivia of the industrial PC game is a Compliment to Hambones Trivia. All right. So, guys, real quick, let's have a chat. Some of you, not all of you, just participated in a theme trivia that was 1990s pop culture. You got it, Kiever. That was a fire drill. We have some unknown issues with our answer submission right now. And we don't anticipate it happening tonight. But if it does happen, we recommend a few things. What, what will happen is when you try to get into a new round, it won't let you. It will say, it'll give you like an error message saying that your URL is suspicious and da 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 da. It's a Google problem that we can't fix once we see that, that issue. You at home have a few options. First and foremost, you can clean your cash out or your cookies out rather of your browser. That may work. Number two, if you're if you're running Chrome or Firefox or Explorer or whatever you're running or Safari, you can try to open it in another one in another browser that you other than the one that didn't work. That may also solve the problem. We will try to post a link again. Sometimes the second time a different link works. We're gonna have, make it a shorter or a longer link than the one that you have. So that's the that's how we're going to attack this if it comes up. We don't think it will because this is a pretty stable set that we have on on this game. Um, but in case it does, there's no need to to everybody panic. That's right, don't panic. And you can clean your cookies out. You can open a new browser and and try the same link in a new browser. The last line of defense uh, until. The other way to get around it would be to use a new link that we'll post in this chat. If none of those things work, then what we do is we email in our answers. We will give you an email address to email your answers in. Make sure you just put your answers in and make sure you put your team name in and make sure you put your seven digit code in. That's what we had to do in 1990s trivia. That was, we got through it and we got through it in enough time. So anything's possible. Just be patient with us. If something goes wrong, we the Hambones team, which could not have handled what we just had any better if we had a year to prepare for it. And I'm so proud of everybody, Dan and Nick and Sean and Marley. It was incredible. That's the fire drill. First things first, hopefully it works for everybody. If it doesn't, try to clean out your cookies if you know how to do that. If you don't, go to a new browser. If your new browser doesn't work, try the new link. If the new link doesn't work, Email it in. The one thing I don't want you to worry about is how much time you have left. The time will stop. We'll ask the questions again. We'll put the answers in the chat. We'll take care of it all. We've got it. All right? We're a little rattled, but we, we survived. We won the war. All right? 
Our pets' heads fell off in 90s trivia. That's exactly right. So tonight, we've got the Friday Night Monster Game brought to you by Michelis and Industrial PC. We are proud to be head broadcasting from the home of trivia in the free world and observable universe. It is beautiful. Indianapolis, Indiana. Guys, there are four rounds of trivia left. Uh, round Four rounds of trivia tonight. Round one is six questions, each worth five points. A perfect round one, as always, is worth 30 points. If you have any questions, let us know. And don't cheat. Industrial PC says don't cheat. And don't cheat. All right? There you go. I got you, Ryan. All right, guys. Here are your questions to round one. Round one, question one. These three people are all the same age. You've got to get within one year. Kevin Durant, Emma Stone, and Adele are all how old? You've got to get within one year. Question two, what was the first all-Spanish song to top the U.S. Billboard charts? What was the first all-Spanish song to top the U.S. Billboard charts? Question three, FDR's in 1982 was the last stamp to show one of these. They were removed from photos of Jackson Pollock and Edward R. Moreau. FDR's in 1982 was the last stamp to show one of these. They were removed from photos of Jackson Pollock, Pollock and Edward R. Moreau. Question four, almost every episode of this television show that ran from 1989 to 1993, ended with the title character making an entry in his diary. Almost every single episode of this show that ran from 89 to 93 ended with the title character making an entry in his diary. Question five. It was published March 26, 1830. A very popular work with the same name premiered March 24th, 2011. It was published March 26, 1830. A very popular work with the same name premiered March 24th, 2011. And question six, final question of round one. On March 30th, 2005, there were 110 second place winners of the Powerball, of the Powerball, because all 110 winners had played numbers found where? On March 30th, 2005, there were 110 second place winners in the Powerball because all 110 winners played numbers found where? That is round one. You've got six minutes. Go, go, go. Just to see what happens. Davey Neal, deliver your hoodie. I will buy three other for randoms. Dave, Davey will do that. We'll get, we'll get, I'm, Davey's right there. I shouldn't speak for you, Davey. The hoodies are soft. The blue is perfect. Total fire drill. Great job. Great job, Nick. Great job, Dan. Great job, Marley. Great job, Sean. That was, we were a, we were a machine. We were a unit. Well, you guys don't, you know, you guys don't like the praise getting heaped on you.
in the middle of it, my dog disappears. 10 minutes later, dog shows back up. After the game, huge Rottweiler running down the street. 25 seconds later, couple running after Rottweiler. I got in my car to help them. Never found either the Rottweiler or the people ever again. As I was running to help the people, I brought down my laptop, my iPad, and my microphone. It was just total chaos. Oh, it, it is a day to remember. We're getting cocky. I'm not even going to say anything about don't go past the stop sign because... I don't want I don't want to upset the equilibrium. Guys, you got two minutes and 33 seconds left. Two minutes and 33 seconds. Calm before the storm. I know this is an exaggeration, but the dog that was running down the middle of the street when the couple was chasing it after, it looked like the dog was as big as a horse and running, if I had to guess, 78 miles an hour. And both of those are exaggerations, but that's what it looked like right now. 90 seconds, guys. 90 seconds to get your answers in. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. All right, guys, you got just under a minute to get your answers in for round one. Don't forget, tomorrow is 50 states, 50 questions. If you're geography, history, there's a lot of ways for me to attack these states. It We will not have a 15-way tie at the top like we did for U.S. presidents. That will not happen again on my watch. That will go down in history, 15-way tie at the top. Fifteen seconds, guys, to get your answers in for round one. Fifteen, get them in, get them in. All right, guys, that is the timer. Get them in, get them in, get them in. Get them in, get them in, get them in. That is your round one timer. Here are your round one answers. Kevin Durant, Emma Stone, and Adele are all, you had to be within one of 31. 31 is your answer to question one. Question two the first all Spanish song to top the U.S. Billboard charts. That is La 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 Bamba. La Bamba is the answer to question two. 
FDRs in 1982 was the last stamp to show one of these. That is a lung dart, a cigarette. Cigarette is your answer to question three. Question four, almost every episode of this show that ran from 1989 to 1993 ended with the title character making an entry in his diary. Correct answer. You guys did great. Doogie Hauser, Doogie Hauser MD is the correct answer. Question five. Question five. It was published March 26th, 1830. A very popular work with the same name. Premiered March 24th, 2011. That is the Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon. And question six. Final question of round one. On March 30th, 2005, there were 110 second place winners of the Powerball because all 110 winners had played numbers found in the fortune cookie. In a fortune cookie. Fortune cookie is your answer to question six. All right, guys. Round two, 10 pictures worth three points each. Tonight, it's name that person, real name, Give the real name of the person that worth three points each. A perfect round is 30 points. Go, go, go. Six minutes. Go, go, go. Um, stand by, Mitch. How many were there? Just ballpark. No, we did not count it. It was that's not the correct answer. Sorry, Mitch. Sometimes we give it, sometimes we don't. Tonight, we're not counting that. Sorry, guys. I don't know what you mean, Jake. Number three question. I don't know. If you're talking about the is that the cigar question? Cigarettes the answer. I think there's a there's a a very real difference between cigars and cigarettes. Jordan, we're sorry. We 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 created this picture round in five minutes. We always try to have all sorts of all sorts of pictures. This was literally our hair was on fire. But that's a very fair question. Thank you for bringing that up, and I apologize that uh, they're not on there. We were yelling out pictures and putting them in simultaneously, so it's not not what we normally do. But it was because of the 1990s. Yeah, I can't. I normally I'm very hyper aware of that.
No, we had talked about it. That's when you said, tell us what the text said. That's what we were talking about. Before the game. Oh, that's amazing. Yep. Thank you. Guys, you got one minute and 20 seconds to get your answers in. One minute, 20 seconds, 80 seconds. Just get them in. Go, go, go. Great team name, Kyle. Twenty seconds, get your answers in, guys. Twenty seconds. I'm excited for you, Scott. All right, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Get them in. Get them in. Get them in. All right, guys. This uh, this whole set, uh, we're we're pretty accustomed to fighting fire, and we're pretty accustomed to uh, really doing things fast. That used to take us a long time, but sometimes we screw up. The fact it's stupid to have a picture around with ten men on it, and that's what we just did. So we apologize to that. That's just our that's our bad. Um, and it was just, it was because of the '90s theme that just. That's true. All right. So here are your answers to the picture round. Here we go. Number one, that is Michael Chang. Number two, that is Chris Cuomo. Number three, the disgraced Charlie Rose. Number four, Reggie White, the preacher. Number five, Brett Crozier. Number six, Mark Spitz. Number seven, Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Number eight is Robert Stack. Number nine is Franz Ferdinand. And number 10 is Dan Levy. Levy. Those are your answers. It was worth 30 points. All right, guys. Let me tell you how the rest of the night works. Two rounds of trivia left. Round three is the money round. If you're going to win this thing, you're going to lay the groundwork here in round three. It's a very important round. Here's how the money round works. Every question has more than one correct answer. Every correct answer is worth five points, and order does not matter at all. So if I ask you, what are the three colors of the U.S. flag, and you say red, white, and green, like the logo on our YouTube channel, shout out Zach, that's worth 10 points. You got two of them. If you say red, white, and blue, that's good for the full 15. That's how it works. Order doesn't matter ever at all. Here we go. Round three, question one. Name the three presidents whose primary affiliation is with the state of Tennessee. Name the three former presidents who call Tennessee home. Question two. There are four cities that have hosted a modern era Summer Olympics more than one time. Name those four cities. Name the four cities in the world that have hosted a modern era Summer Olympics more than once, at least twice. Name the four cities. Question two. Sorry, question three. What three states admitted to the union 
were established by splitting an already existing state. Name the three states that when they came into the union, they were chopped out of an old, of a piece of another state. Tough question. And question four, final question of the money round. In the 60s and 70s, proposals for a 51st state called Superior would have created a new state collecting counties from which other two states? Which two other states would have comprised Superior, a 51st state in the 60s and 70s? That is the money round. I am on top of the timer. You got 12 minutes. Go, go, go. That's true. That captain is the one that said, hey, maybe we should care about our soldiers. And he, then he got fired for caring about his soldiers. Zach, Zach with the with the curtain call. Just tip your hat. You're yeah, the modern photo is the is is the captain that uh, was a captain of the U.S. aircraft carrier said, hey, I got some guys sick. And then he was fired for trying to stick up for the soldiers. They gave him a standing ovation on his way out, started chanting his name. He got fired for for saying uh, maybe we ought to care about our troops. That's what he was fired for. Sorry. Knock on wood, everybody. We're looking good. We're looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Power out. YouTube shut down. Yeah. Just go shotgun beers on New Jersey Street. New sidewalks. Is John Walsh playing? Eddie Kiever, let me know if John Walsh is playing. Yeah, sorry. Yes. It is. Find out who they are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The what? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Michael. We... We tried to, you can catch up. We're happy to catch you up here, Michael. You can start with round one and you're good to go. You can, but uh, we, we, yeah, we did say we were going to start at nine. We changed our mind. We announced that in the old game. Sorry for the confusion. It was, it's just been chaos. Just us two. No, that, yeah, that's fine. Count it. That's fine. I don't care. Damn dog, damn Google, 
everything. It was chaos. Sorry about the confusion, but you can catch up. Uh, I think we're usual. I don't remember. Maybe I put in 10. No, the first two rounds are always six. Yeah, that's what I, that's what, I mean, that's never changed. You deserve a medal. If with 100% certainty, they will. Yeah, I see it. Three states. No, it's three states. Sorry, Sarah. So these are the three states that entered the union and how those states were formed where we took pieces of existing states and gave them to the new state. Hope that clarifies it. Union is in the United States as a whole, Michelle, as a whole. I got it. I'm not okay explaining that again. I don't even know what you're talking about, Keith. Yes, but they're not going to be in groups like the presidents. It's just going to be 10 at a time. We're not, uh, that made it too easy. Yes, both have to be modern, Kelsey. Guys, in, at Hambones Trivia, we've never made a mistake. We choose our words carefully. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a generally accepted definition. Keith, that's a that's a long list of mistakes, buddy. And it was just quadrupled in 1990s trivia. No, it's not even close. 
when this thing's over. No, question three, Kristen, I'll, I'll do this again. Three states that when they were admitted to the union, they were taken out of pieces of existing state or states. That's the best I can explain it. They weren't, it wasn't just new territory that the United States got. It was something that was already an existing state taken away from that other state and given to a new state. What? The what? The what? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it's going to be emotional. Mallory. Guys, you got one minute to get your answers in now. One minute. <laughs> Zach. Zach. That was great, Zach. That's a quote for the ages. Mallory and Sean came to Union Jack a bunch. I am too, Joel. All right, guys. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get them in. Get them in. Get them in. All right, guys. Here are your answers. To the money round. The three presidents' primary affiliation is with the state of Tennessee. That is Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk, and Andrew Johnson. Four cities that have hosted the modern era Summer Olympics more than once. Those four cities are Athens, Los Angeles, Paris and London, Athens, LA, Paris, and London are your answers to question two. Question three, the three states admitted to the union that were established by splitting an already existing state. Those states are Kentucky, Maine, and West Virginia. Kentucky, Maine, and West Virginia were carved out of already existing states. And question four, final question of the money round. In the 60s and 70s, proposals for a 51st state called Superior would have taken counties from Wisconsin and Michigan and made it a new state. Those are your answers to round three. Guys, how are we doing on the scoreboard? Guys, just as an update here, tonight we have 143 teams, 682 players in the Friday Night Monster Game, brought to you by Industrial PC and Michelis. Here's how the rest of the night works, guys. We've got one round of trivia left. I'm going to give you the three final questions. On each of the three, you can wager anywhere from zero points to 30 points. But if you wager 30 on all three, and you get them all three wrong, that's minus 90 points. You get them all three right, that's positive 90 points. Just wager with prudence. 
Wager with prudence. Nobody's begging you to get wager third in all three. That does that very rarely works. Now, if you know all three, fine. But I wouldn't recommend a 30-30-30. It normally goes terribly wrong. So I'm going to give you these three final questions. Then in about 30 seconds, 60 seconds from now, I'm going to give you a scoreboard update. Just so the top 15 know where they stand. Then you guys can submit your answers. Do your wagering. Let us have it. All right? That's how this goes. Here we go. Last three questions of the night. Round four. Question one. It became a colony of the United States in 1898, a commonwealth in 1935, and an independent country in 1946. Name that country. It became a colony of the United States in 1898, a commonwealth in 1935, and an independent country in 1946. Name that country. Question two. The first appearance of this public service announcement was in 1989. It has featured Joan Rivers, Steve Harvey, Bill Clinton, and Michelle Obama, among others. It's been parodied on The Office, The Daily Show, and Saturday Night Live. It is only ever run on one network. Name that PSA. Name that public service announcement. First appeared in 1989, Joan Rivers, Steve Harvey, Bill Clinton, Michelle Obama, among many others. It's been parodied on The Office, The Daily Show, and Saturday Night Live, and it's only ever run on one network. You name that public service announcement. And question three, final question of the night and the week in the monster game. Don't forget, we got 50 questions, 50 states tomorrow. You should register. That's going to be fun. That's going to be for monsters. Question three, here we go. The most common word to appear in the title of best picture winning movies is the word the. What's the second most common word to appear in the title of best picture winning movies? At least one of the winners in the last 10 years have had this word in the title. At least one has had the, this word in the title in the last 10 years. These are best picture winning movies. The is number one. What is the second most common word for those movies to have in the title? That's the final round. We'll be right back with a scoreboard update. Go, go, go. I can. Okay. Xavier's with one. Stacy, sometimes we gotta sometimes we gotta go, Stacy. Don't know. Sorry. Sometimes we gotta just do we we wrote we were flying with our hair on fire in between these games. So this was not curated with all the care of a normal monster game, but I'm pretty proud of this uh, team for getting the product out there. Nope. And and the all right, guys. I I just can't wait. All right, here we go. Scoreboard update, guys. In a three-way tie for fifteenth place. In a four-way tie for fifteenth place. With 101 points, it's J is for Genius. 2020, a quarantine odyssey. Station 15, Station 15A, Carol Baskins did it. All of you, Carol Baskins did it. Station 15A, 2020, a quarantine odyssey. And J is for Genius, all of you have 101 points. All of you are tied for 15. A two-way tie for 13th place with 102 points. That's still call it the Bulldog, and that's counting blue cars. With 104 points and tied for 11th, it's humps and forever alone. In 8th place, it's a three-way tie with 107 points. It's the slow kids at play. It's nasty reporters with terrible questions, and it's the Dan Fan Club. In 6th place, in a two-way tie with 109 points, it's Is It May Yet? And it is hot for teacher. In a two-way tie for fourth place with 110 points, it's Joey Triviani and Font Savants is cheating. Font Savants is cheating. In third place, 
with 112 points. It's NV with 117 points. In second place, it's the Curve Flatteners. And in the lead, heading into the final round, they hold down Manly's Irish Mutt on the east side. They are Team Crush. 120 points in the lead, Team Crush. That's going in the last round. That's an honor in itself. Sorry, Stacy. If 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 states make your head explode, you should see what we're doing tomorrow at six thirty. It's fifty states, fifty questions. See you there, Stacy. No. Their score seems off. What do you got, James? Uh, give us your seven digit. It's uh, hot for teacher. James, you missed lost in the first round. We have there we you have been adjusted, James. Slightly adjusted. Three seven two five two three four. There's a slight adjustment. Stand by. You're at one twelve, James. I hope that sounds better. You're at one twelve. It was because uh we didn't catch that you didn't put a first name on one of the pictures. No, it's not. Debbie, my mom is always bringing the comedy, Heather. She, she's a treat. You got it, James. I hope that was what would I hope that solved it. I didn't hear that part. Oh, that's horrible. Zach G swinging for the fences. That would be a good poster, Zach. Just a, a bat that just says 30 for 30, 30, and maybe just pulling his head and just whiffing on the pitch. Scoreboard says wager with prudence. I stopped with the AirPods just because it was happening too much. That's why I'm going wire wired now. Dan Sp Dan, I got a picture from a family member of yours sent to me. It is, yeah, yeah, I, of Dan, a young Dan. Yeah, hold on, I got to find it. I forget which, I forget what channel it was sent to me on. Oh, here it is right here. All right. Let's see, Nick. Nick. 
Yeah, I think so. Do you know what picture it is, Dan? I mean, let, let, let me let me just let's get this out of the way. I'm going to post it. It's awesome. It's not bad at all. It's all. It, it's the perfect picture. Yeah. Here it is. Firefox really let us down. Did any of our answers show up for round two? S Steven, we need your... Yeah, Dan's on it. Andy Humes. Tell Andy I say hello. He's He is one of the good ones. He is one of the very, very few good ones, and he'll know what I mean. Steven, I would say that Firefox, based on the reports I'm getting, Firefox absolutely let you down tonight. Guys, you got one minute to get your final answers in. Guys, you see that picture I sent? Yeah. Any word on, I don't know what that means, Dor. I'm sure you'll tell me what that means. Any word on yes, that yes, that's correct. Yes, Ryan, that is correct. I thought you were like asking, is there any word on whether or not three is correct? <laughs> yes. Yes, completely out of the blue. What's that? I, I do believe. I do believe. Stand by. Guys, we need your answers. Get them in, get them in, get them in. Steven, we got your we gave you those 27 points. You're good to go. All right, guys, are we ready to rock? Out of 143. All right, guys, here are your answers to the final three questions. Real approachable set tonight. It became a colony of the United States in 1898, a commonwealth in 1935, and then declared its independence from the United States in 1946. That country is the Philippines. The Philippines. Question two, the first appearance of this public service announcement was in 89. It featured Joan Rivers. It featured Steve Harvey, Bill Clinton, Michelle Obama, among others. It's also been parried on The Office, The Daily Show, and Saturday Night Live. It is only ever run on NBC. That parody, or that public service announcement is the more you know. The more you know. 
is the public service announcement. And question three, the final question of the night, the most common word to appear in the title of Best Picture winning movies is the, the second most common word to appear in Best Picture winning titles is the word of, of is the answer. I was trying to do fake outs for other words. Of is the answer to question three. Hey guys, before we do this, the um, scoreboard update, Want to thank our sponsors, Michelle is an industrial PC. Want to thank everybody for the patience tonight. We're getting this game rolling a little bit late. And if you're in the 90s um, pop culture game, thanks for everything. That was a disaster averted, but nonetheless, it was not a smooth sailing ship, which is what we like to have. Tomorrow night is 50 states, 50 questions. The link to register for that is down below. If you want Hambones hoodies or Hambones t-shirts, they are made by Heather Tees. Heather Tees is the ham bones of apparel companies. Indianapolis owned and operated by ham bones player. Guys, I'd love it. I can't wait to see them out in the wild when we get out of our house. Please order those. Um, and I think that's all the announcements for now. The sponsor of the scoreboard tonight that will be shared with everyone this one's on the house because of the disaster. at Shelby Materials. That's our good friends at Shelby Materials. And we will uh, we'll know more about Shelby as this sponsorship goes on. But for now, Shelby Materials uh, is a friend of the program. They're bringing us Know Your, Pre uh, know your 50 States tomorrow. And they're also bringing us the scoreboard in some of these monster games. Shelby Materials is also Indianapolis owned and operated. And they are the ham bones of material Base technology. All right, guys. Scoreboard update. Scoreboard update in a huge tie. One, two, three, four, five way tie for 13th place and 187 points. Here's the roll call. First family of trivia. Funny. I thought that was my family. Camp Anawana, Hank Scorpio, suck at Trebek. And Karen would like to speak to the COVID-19. I love that team name. Karen would like to speak to the COVID-19. Guys, in 12th place with 191 points, it's Carol Baskins did it. In a two-way tie for 10th place, it's with 192 points. Still call it the Bulldog. He, that's a former former champ. And counting blue cars. That's two scoreboard up, uh, podium finishes or scoreboard finishes for counting blue cars tonight. They also did well in the other game. In ninth place... Uh-oh, in ninth place, 193 points. It's crush. It's crush. In eighth place with 194 points, it's forever alone. That's a one-man band. You are not forever alone. You have the hand bones community. I don't even know who you are, but we got you. In fifth place, three-way tie, 197 points. It's the powerhouse, slow kids at play. It's the powerhouse that almost brought hand bones email to its knees Nasty reporters with terrible questions. And it's the powerhouse Dan Fan Club. We might as well shit say that the fifth place tonight was Murderer's Row in fourth place. Another powerhouse from Sam Silver Circle and 199 points. It's Is It May Yet in third place with 200 points. Font Savants is cheating. Font Savants is cheating. And uh oh, we got a tie. We got a tie with 202 points in a tie for first place. It's hot for teacher and in V hot for teacher and in V. All right, guys, let's go to the chat. We need one player uh, chatting us for hot for teacher and one player in V identify yourselves. I know the hot for teacher team. I have no idea who envy is. Ty alert, Ty alert. We need team envy in the chat. Maybe it's just team envy. Stand by Dan Barnett. Friends of industrial PC. Break that tie. Break the tie. Break the tie. If Team Envy doesn't show up, you imagine that? You imagine the shame if they don't show up? Where's Team Envy? You've tied for first. Identify yourself in the chat.
I don't know, Annie. Stand by. I have no idea, Ryan. I don't, I don't, I had to get that off my plate. I farmed that out. Rory says, we'll be team envy. I mean, if team, if, can you imagine if team envy doesn't show up? Maybe we'll just stay on and tell somebody who's team envy. Yeah, I'll call them right now. Yeah. Oh, wait, they're here. I was going to call you. You were in the shower. Is that really you? No, not you. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to try to call him. All right, Dan, give me the number. Yeah, that's fine. Putting him on speaker. Hello? Is this Team Envy from Hambone yeah, Trivia? Yeah, this is Yeah, this is Ray. What I've been trying to log into the chat area. <laughs> don't don't worry about that. Now that you're on the phone, you're on the live okay. chat. Your speaker phone is right into the microphone. Oh, great. Thank All right. You. Say hi to everybody. Hi everyone. Yep. Hi. All right. What's your name, Ray? Ray Ferris. Yes. Ray. All right. I play All right. at coaches. What's that? I play at coaches. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. All right. So hold on one second, guys. Is Hot for Teacher ready to rock? Hot for Teacher's got to be ready to rock. All right, guys. We've got a tiebreaker here. Now, Ray, you can't yes. you can't speak into the phone until we tell you to 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 answer. Because if you give your answer, then they can kind of block you out. So here's how it works. Here's how a tiebreaker works. I'm going to give you a question that has a number as the answer. You're going to guess a number. They're going to guess a number. You've got 30 seconds to consult with your team. And then when I say, hey, Ray, we're ready for your number, they're going to type theirs and you're going to say yours and whoever's closest wins. Okay. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. Guys, here's the question. In the state of Michigan, in the state of Michigan, what is the most miles away you can be from a great lake? If you're in Michigan, what's the furthest amount of miles that you can be away from the coastline of a great lake? The shortest distance that you can be, the, the furthest that you can be. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, so don't say anything yet. Talk to your team. I'm going to take you off speaker while you think about it. All right, you're off. All right, you got that, James? Hoffer teacher, you got that? What's the furthest you can be possibly away from a great lake in the state of Michigan? You've got you guys both have 15 seconds remaining. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask Ray to say it to me. And then you type yours. You got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, Ray, what are you guys going to say? You're not on speaker yet. Okay, James, give us your answer. Still waiting, James. Give us your answer, James. James says 85. Ray, tell us what you said. 65. James says 85. Ray says 65. James, you are dead on balls. It is 85 miles. Both of you, great guesses. Both of you, great games. Uh, both of you are winners tonight. We'll do uh, gift certificates for both of you. So stay on the line, Ray. James, you guys know how to get a hold of me. Thank you guys all. Great game. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll be back the next day. Uh, we'll be back on Monday. So thank you all. Thanks to our sponsors. Have a good night. Adios. All right.